eyes of the world have been Zack. If you need something, come see me. And to start with, here's a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Ah, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Whoa, slow down. 
to hell. Whoa, careful. Oh! Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters and then Ryze's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him. And you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake, you can't even walk straight. We need you alive, you idiot. Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right? Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just- Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right, you need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah, okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Look, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. I mean, the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died. Two years ago, but Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. 
He's hoarding Antizin and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizin from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizin. Quarters of all airdrops fall in the cauldron, so if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. There's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. <clears throat> Fucking hell. Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. Damn it. Nothing here. Rice's men got here okay, first. Okay. Fuck! Okay. Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Get out of here now! You are done!
close to sunset. You need to turn back now. Yeah, I'm almost there. I can do this. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? What? what why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no answers in here. Done? Fuck! Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh shit. They must have heard me.
Some of the letters are... I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Gotta report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. Come on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. And we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Brecken is so... Crane, can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's him. Um... Listen, Crane, we all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because... Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, all right? Brecken sent me. Brecken? 
That asshole in the tower? All right, what does he want? Come to make a deal. <laughs> what kind of deal? The kind I make with rice, not with his flunkies. All right, let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. Left! <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some fantasy. Understood? Don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've got to cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? 
No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal, so Rise can communicate with Outpost and the far reaches of town. It's a benefit for everyone, or just Rise. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire. Antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Thank you. 
sharp infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth to spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. on. Good. Now head up to the top. Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck. I was afraid of that. All right. Head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. What do you do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rax? And the answer is probably, die horribly.
Spike, it's Crane. There's a building here covered in quarantine tape. You know what it is? I sure do. You're looking at the original quarantine ground zero. The first infected were moved there from the hospitals when the outbreak started. Things fell apart pretty quick, and the building was abandoned. It's chock full of biters, but it's also chock full of supplies. Even Rise's people haven't been able to crack it. Cream him at the second antenna tower. The fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. What the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me! Kristoff, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. That, these guys are killers! Yes, they're murderers. So we work for them. That's how we stay safe.
sure hope this fucking climb was worth it. Still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... whatever. See you back at the tower. Eternally grateful. survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, please, don't hesitate to ask.
Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. You hear the door? Ah, my friend. Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. And after this, he'd better hand over the drugs. here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, crane out.
Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Took you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. You Jafar? Oh, and Stano. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rise sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. for Rise. He wields a lot of power. He scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon. Thank you. 
Kareem, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge, bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. All right, you'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Gersel. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do some protecting. I gotta get that gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. Anyone here? Anyone here? Rice sent me. I'm here for a pickup. Yes? Who, who goes there? I'm here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Yeah? Hey, Rice sent me here to pick up something for him. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You'll draw the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more freaking tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Firkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Firkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Firkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? 
There was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you blood suckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ, you people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. And for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Okay, Kareem, I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. On a deal? What's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but... We can't sugarcoat this crane. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please!
Halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. And don't damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes put together. Wait a sec. Die, motherfucker! Okay, I got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. So, I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it 
It is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. you hadn't shown up. Blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you can. Should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesan. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Antazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. <laughs> If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir, 
She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No, no, forget it, I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Crane here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. Heads up, everyone. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. <laughs> Copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antecedent did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that Anderson. Don't forget that. You need something? You got something for us? Thanks a lot. Every little thing matters. Come here. Got a special deal for you. You 
won't find better deals in all of Haran. find better stuff anywhere else. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. 